Okay, I guess we're about to wrap up, but uh, let's talk a little bit about, um, well, let, let me just clean it up. Yes, delete, delete. Okay, let's talk a little about uh, referential integrity, primary keys and foreign keys. Um, but uh, with an example, one of the greatest things about uh, Microsoft Product like SQL Server is that you can just right click and script table. Let's create two new query editor window. This basically shows you how this table was created in the first place with all the options. As you can see, use and it says create table. That's the name of the table, then all these columns. And you can see all this constraint, like how big it has to be and not no constraint. It can not, this one says no, so it can be uh, no. And it also has a constraint primary key cluster. It's, uh, let's just not talk about cluster. It just, it's basically primary key. So PK address ID. And that means address ID column has to be absolutely unique. That's the field that uniquely identifies these other uh, columns. So these col other columns are dependent on this particular uh, address ID. So that's called a primary key. It's a, a col column or column combination of columns that basically identifies a row, uniquely identifies a row. It's one of those relation concepts. And we'll talk a little bit about relationships. Yeah, here. Alter table um, person check. No, that's a check constraint, isn't it? No, oh, okay, okay. So here, add constraint for key. Okay, here what it's doing is that after the table is made, it's adding a constraint. Um, this means that uh, adding a constraint on this table and it is a foreign key constraint state uh, providence ID so in order to insert a row in this table this particular column called uh, state province ID has to exist in this another table called uh, person state province let's go look at that table person state province uh, let's just yeah so it's basically uh, checking to see if the state exists um, or country I'm assuming oh, or province so um, let's say you try to uh, insert a row into this person address table that uh, that has the wrong uh, province ID like Instead of Arizona, AZ for Arizona and TX for something uh, for Texas, you try to put some crazy um, acronym in there, then it will not accept it because it's not a valid data. That's how foreign key constraint work, um, which uses a relationship between two different tables. So I hope just I hope I covered relation relationships well enough with integrity constraint. But we'll see. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.